Well, folks, now it's uh, time for CYA, it looks like, uh, with the officials at Lake Orville. Let's, uh, the water level right now is 891.21, so it's up again from yesterday. We have an interesting article here, though, because it's CYA time, folks. And when, you know, articles like this come out, then you have to start thinking. You have to be concerned. I know that we've been concerned for quite some time now, but now, now the local news and the, the uh, local officials have to start coming out with uh, their concerns because it's CYA time. Butte County concerned over lake levels. DWR still has no immediate plans for spillway releases. And why is that, folks? So it says, uh, there are more concerns over lake levels in Oroville at Butte County. Leaders take initiative to explore alternative options for safety measures. Department of Water Services, DWR, a leg of State Water Project manages the Oroville Dam. On Wednesday, DWR officials remained adamant in saying they have no plans to release water from the Oroville Dam spillway. But isn't that what it's for? I'm very concerned about the lake levels, District 1 Supervisor Bill Connolly said Tuesday during the Board of Supervisors meeting. Lake Oroville is being run in an antiquated and linear manner. DWR's Priority seems to be water delivery instead of public safety. Connolly then offered a solution. He called forecast-based operations, which has been implemented at Folsom Lake in Placer County, according to Connolly. Folsom Lake is owned and operated by the U.S. Department of Re Reclamation. According to Connolly, the forecast-based operations takes into account the steep, complex terrain near Orville Dam, around the watersheds and monitors warm rain on snow for public safety measures. It also scientifically measures snowpack with ground penetrating radar and satellites. It behooves us to write a letter to DWR to point out that they need to move into the next century, Connolly said. I hope you would support me in writing a letter to them suggesting they put public safety over water delivery. When we go to a meeting with them, they say they can't do this because of the cost. District 2 Supervisor Deborah Lacero praised Connolly's comments, saying she absolutely agrees and supports reaching out to DWR and asking them to look into more forecast-based operations. District 4 Supervisor Steve Lambert also agreed with Connolly. Connolly added that DWR spends too much time and resources elsewhere, including repairing a federal levy in Sutter County and other projects in Yuba, Yuba County. Well, folks, now you've got the uh, local officials concerned, so the people that live there should be concerned, as I know a lot of you have been for weeks now. So a little validation there. What is DWR going to do? It should be interesting. Jefferson City, Missouri, folks, had a major tornado last night. Could you imagine a tornado coming in at you at midnight? You can't see it? Um, we talked about this the other day. We talked about how they were stalling the storm in the Midwest coming out of Texas. And it looked like that uh, they wanted to tighten up that line, intensify it. Look at this. Look at these pictures, folks. That is frightening stuff right there. Jefferson City, uh, the uh, capital of Missouri, is in a uh, state of emergency right now. And for what I'm seeing, on, uh, we'll show you in the weather map, they might have some more storms on the way man devastating stuff flooding runaway barges on flooded river reach oklahoma dam one sinks highway p patrol reports so we have residents in weber's falls oklahoma ordered to evacuate two barges that broke free are a threat to a dam another dam and a bridge over interstate 40 a 
Tulsa oil refinery has suspended operations because of flooding. Five homes destroyed in Twin Cities community in Oklahoma. At least eight people have been killed in the storms. This is Oklahoma. Folks, I'm, I'm hearing about uh, dams all across the country right now because of all the rain that we've had. Uh, are failing or are about to fail. This is very concerning stuff, folks. Obviously, you know that. So here's the uh, updated next red composite loop map. <laughs> you see some uh, storms starting to be created here, coming out of El Paso, Texas, and moving north. And then you've got more storms moving through Missouri right now, as if they can even take any more. And then you've got uh, storms moving this line from yesterday, last night, moving northeastward. So passing through Pennsylvania, Virginia, New York, right now, as we speak. Now, these are not your typical storms, obviously. But I can tell you, if you look in the red, you look in, in these uh, red sections over here in these storms, any one of those that has a hook pattern can, can spawn off a... Uh, as you as you saw last night a major tornado we did a report just last week saying that this has been the wettest year the 12 months in the history of our country and it doesn't look like it's going to get better anytime soon with rain in the forecast all over the country so yeah folks it uh, big time prayers for the people in uh, Oklahoma and in Missouri and uh, Lake Orville area I, I don't know what's gonna what's going to happen over there but you know when the local officials start coming out and doing a CYA it's maybe time to be concerned and all of the naysayers that have been um, trolling and uh, denigrating the people that have been warning that there is an issue up in Lake Oroville well shame on you because now what do you have to say about local officials coming out? Why is it that we have to wait until it's too late before we uh, believe people? It doesn't need to be that way. You've got a lot of fine people out there that are doing research that care. I mean, I get it. Some people want to do the fear of porn and uh, they want to get clicks I get that but the most of the people that I've seen that have been reporting on the uh, Lake Orville story it is not what their uh, objective is at all it certainly isn't mine anyway God bless you folks take care probably do another one or two reports and then it's off to uh, Memorial Weekend I hope everybody has a Wonderful holiday weekend. Again, prayers for all the people that have been in, impacted by this, these, uh, these storms that are have been very abnormal. We'll talk to you soon.